all aboard for your chance to win $1,000 every week until December 28th. That's right, $1,000 cash just in time for the holidays. To hop on board, just head to churchillmortgage.com and punch your ticket to the Churchill Express giveaway. Visit churchillmortgage.com for your chance to win big. This is a paid advertisement. NMLS ID 1591. NMLSconsumeraccess.org. Equal housing lender. 1749 Mallory Lane, Suite 100, Brentwood, Tennessee 37027. Come unwrap some holiday magic this season in Denver, where the lights are brighter and the shopping is grander, where the season feels a whole lot more wonderful. Discover great hotels and more things to do at milehighholidays.com. Quiet, please. Quiet, please. American Broadcasting Company presents Quiet, Please, which is written and directed by Willis Cooper and which features Ernest Chappell. Quiet, Please, for today is called Berlin, 1945. Good afternoon. This is Willis Cooper. The Quiet, Please story we're bringing you today is a Christmas story that many of our listeners have asked us to repeat this year. And though Christmas actually was yesterday, after all, it's still Christmas today, isn't it? This was Christmas Day three years ago, Christmas 1945, in a ruined house in Berlin, in Germany. Five soldiers around the table beginning their Christmas dinner. Staff Sergeant John Plattner was Carly. I am a guy that strictly enjoys Christmas. I'd enjoy it a lot more if I was at 504 North Monroe Street. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you guys come to see me sometime in Peoria. You'll find out. Hey, hey, listen, I'll tell you what. Next Christmas, let's all go to Peoria and have Christmas dinner at Schultz's house. Yeah, that's the deal. We'll so go skating out at Bradley Park. Hey, I'll bet they're skating at Bradley Park right now. Hey, it's uh, 11.55 Berlin time. There's seven hours difference. Uh, that, that makes it... 04.55 in the morning in Peoria. So, so they're skating in Peoria at 04.55 in the morning. <laughs> in Peoria, everybody's nuts. Uh, well, come on, come on. Who said white meat? Me. Don't anybody want a drumstick? I want a drumstick. Oh, Who said oh, white meat? Well, 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 Oh, I'd rather look at what's that under your arm, Lieutenant. That little kitty is the finest bottle of wine between here and Hoboken. Oh, 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 oh. Well, open it, somebody. You Lieutenant, only one. <laughs> Corporal Lester, there are times when you discourage me with your thirst. Now, if you just walk outside to my Jeep, as I was about to say, you'll find seven more of the same. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, if he get off his chair like that when I tell him to get on to the morning report, I I get it on it. Where'd you get the wine, sir? Well, if you mean where did I get the money, there was a crap game last night with some Air Force gentlemen. Uh-oh. Airplane drivers, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. And I happened to hold some very excellent dice. <laughs> my, my, what's that? Not cranberry sauce. Yeah, Schultz's uncle sent it to him. Can. Hmm. Oh, man, that tastes like home. Yeah, now, look, Lieutenant, uh, don't pull right. Yeah, don't. Sergeant, I haven't had any cranberry sauce since Swamp Davis. I don't like to think about that either, Lieutenant. Yeah. Well, look, <clears throat> you said a drumstick, Lieutenant? Yeah, to start with, Sergeant. Thanks. Sauce, some mashed potatoes and... Mashed nice potatoes? Hey, what's this stuff? I uh, think that's turnips. Well, I'll yeah, eat turnips. Turnips it is. And fill it up. I sure will. Ah. What are you so glad <laughs> about over there, Corporal Morgan? What, me? I was just thinking, sir. We'll stop it. Dangerous habit. Hey, plate hey anybody in. open that bottle yet? Yeah, in, in a minute. In a minute. <laughs> Hold up your cup, Lieutenant. Here you are, fella. That's enough for a minute. Okay. Pass it along. 
Where's Lester with the rest of them? Where is that guy? Hey, somebody give me the hell of a bottle. Don't worry, Joe. Come on, come on. Come on, boys. Help <laughs> yourself to the stuff and holler when you want more turkey. Hey, should we open all the bottles, Lieutenant? Why, sure, why not? Oh. Look, will you sit down before your turkey gets cold? In the Army, a mess sergeant should talk like that. Hey, not out of a bottle, Lester. Oh, no, 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 sir. Why? Well, no, sit down and drink like people, you lug. Yeah, gee, it's a swell. It ought to be. Uh, what grade is it, sir? It's called, uh, Lacomer Christie, Morgan. Cheers of Christ. Yeah. Well, I would eat some bread. Yeah, here. Here, Lieutenant, right here. Thanks. Cheers of Christ, huh? Right. You know, I drunk some of that once at Italy. Uh, pour me some more, will you? I think we should drink a toast, Lieutenant. I do, too. No, oh, no, don't start that again. Let's eat. Shut up. I need some gravy, Sergeant. Well, there's plenty of it. Yeah. The only toast I want to drink is when I climb off that ship in New York. Yeah, ah, that that's one we'll all drink. Yeah. Fact, I'll drink it right now. <clears throat> Remember what we were doing last Christmas, Lance? Yeah, okay. yeah. That's what I was thinking about. About a toast. Yeah. Yes, I think you're right, Morgan. Bill McAdams. Yeah. And Big Gil Corcoran. And, uh, Ed Peterson. Francis walked here. That, that kid Larry, uh, what was his name? Asking. Yeah, yeah, My brother. I think we better stand up for that, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <coughs> uh, you, uh, you say the toast, Lieutenant. No, okay. no. No, we'll just drink to him. To all of them. All of them. All of them. I sure remember my last Christmas back home. You mean at uh, Swamp Davis, Chris? No, home. Hollywood. What? You live there? Yeah, hey, uh, we had a show that day. How hey. long? Coast to coast. Say, what you do on the radio, Griff? Sing? No, I was an announcer. You don't announcer. sound much like an announcer. Mm -hmm. Hey, how about another drumstick, Si? Sure. Reach your plate, hey, guys. Thanks. Do you want to hear me at us? No. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, no, no. Uh, good evening, oh, friends no. of the radio music world. <laughs> Tonight, we are again privileged to present the Army Air Forces Symphony Orchestra under the direction of Major Eddie Dunster, direct from the Flying Training Command Auditorium in Santa Ana, California. Our program this evening includes Si Me Vez Avez Desire by Ronaldo Hahn, La Création du Monde by Darius Milo, selections from De Berger aus Edelman by Richard Strauss, and to conclude, the inimitable folk song of our Russian allies, Krasny Serafat. Did you hear what I heard? Well, Did that know. come out of that? Hey, hey what? Yeah, I was so much so like that, Griff. I popped a crooner in the eye. He was a master sergeant, so they shipped me. Is there any more wine? <laughs> After that, Griff, you ate a whole bottle of yourself. Yeah, don't yeah, let me look at it. <laughs> Thanks, Chelsea. <laughs> You know, my last Christmas in New York. Oh, okay, we're yeah, the yeah, 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 best Christmas I remember huh? was down at Bliss one year. I was in big troop with the Seventh Cavalry. Oh yeah. Yeah, there was a Mexican cavalry outfit just across the river at Juarez. Now, they come over to play polo, see, and brought a bunch of their enlisted men along, and every single one of them lads had a quarter yeah, tequila. In his saddlebags. Oh, brother. Uh, <laughs> uh, did you ever drink tequila, Lieutenant? Once. 
<laughs> there was a Mexican sergeant. I can remember his name. Sorrento, Pablo, Francisco, Rafael, Del Rey, Jimenez, Junior. I mean, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> he taught me how to say Merry Christmas in Mexican. No kidding. Uh, yeah, how's yeah, it going? What is it? The least season of the others. And what's going on? Oh, God. Where were you, Morgan? Last Christmas? Yeah. You know where I was, Lieutenant. At Vienden. No, I... I mean the state. Oh, well, before I got in the Army, my last Christmas in the States was in jail. Jail? Yeah, in jail. Never told you guys that. Well, uh, lots of people have been in jail. Sure. Slide the bottle over this way, Griff. Yeah, wait a second. Oh, what was it for, Griff? Never mind, Lester. Oh, I don't mind, Lieutenant. <laughs> it wasn't the first time. Thanks, Sergeant. Uh, a little more turkey, I guess. I'm not right up. Baby. Well, I was a bum. Like a hobo? Strictly a hobo. I, I never had it so good as in the Army. You sure didn't like the Army so well when I first joined the outfit, Morgan. Yeah, I know. I... Yeah, Got to be kind of different when my brother joined the outfit. <clears throat> I never knew the kid very well before. Sure, miss him. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to stay in. The least I can do. Uh, where was you, Lieutenant? Uh, when? Oh, oh, you mean my last Christmas home? Yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah, was you, Lieutenant? Uh, well, believe it or not, I was in high school. Oh, you oh, no, you no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Well, uh, last year. I was supposed to graduate in 1941. <laughs> when my class graduated, I was a tech sergeant at Camp Forest, Tennessee. Oh, what well, do you know? Where was your Christmas? In a hospital with a broken leg. Yeah? Play too much football. Oh. Hey, huh? did you ever know a lieutenant colonel at Forest named, uh, um, Smith? There was a million lieutenant colonels named Smith. So not look like Eisenhower? Was a major then? That is the guy. Yeah, yeah. When what? the Krauts was going to assassinate Ike a couple of three months ago. Uh -huh. Yeah, I remember. This here Colonel Smith. He personified Eisenhower. Ah, uh, impersonated him. Personified him. Yeah, <laughs> played like he was him. Oh, well, just... He was a friend of mine. No well, kids, two companies in Peoria, down at Forest Lieutenant, out of the 130th Infantry. Uh, I... Why are you last Christmas out of the Army, Schulze? Gee. Jimmy and I got married Christmas Eve. Jimmy? Uh, her, her name's Celestine. Oh, <laughs> I was called her Denny. Oh, I didn't boy. know you were married. <laughs> sure. Why, sure, yeah. Lieutenant. December twenty fourth, nineteen forty one. Hey, uh, did, did I ever show you a picture? No, you got it with you? Sure. Come on. Let me see that after you, Lieutenant. Hey, <laughs> she's a pretty girl. Yeah. Is she blonde uh, or uh, red hair? Hey, let me see that. Hey, Take a look. Let me see. Wait, do I get a little one? Let me come to you. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, remember where I came from. Oh, looks like my youngest sister. Yeah. Hey, say, Chris. Oh, so here you are, kid. Thanks. Where was you Christmas? Uh, I don't know. You see the picture, Morgan? No. Take a look at it. Pretty. That's so. Well, where was you, Chris? Yeah. Hollywood Canteen. Oh, boy. Gee, oh. I'll bet. Hey, I was never there. Was there movie stars? Up to here. Betty Grable? Yeah. <laughs> In Peoria, Lana Turner. Gee, I don't remember Lester. <laughs> Can't hear me. Don't remember Lana Turner. Besides, slice me off another slab of white meat. Yeah, sure will. Oh, brother. Let me have a little read with you. Who's out at the door? Huh? Uh -huh. I didn't see anybody, Sergeant. Probably one of them hungry Joes from the first platoon. Looking for a second dinner. Yeah. Well, nuts to him. Look, anybody else want some turkey? Uh oh, oh no, no, no. We got our dessert, Sergeant. Well, Sonny, my mom wrote to me, and he, she asked me what I wanted for Christmas. Huh? So I tells her. Ah, uh, Junior. I mean, Junior. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, 
you know, uh, uh, I was kidding. I, uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, when I wrote her, I wanted one of her mince pies. Oh, why not? Now, don't tell me your mother sent you a mince pie. That can't be done. What do you mean it can't be done? Well, if I put them guys back in comms, they'd steal it. They'd steal your right. Oh, oh, come on, sir. Uh, is the Army putting out G.I. mince pies now? Now, look, Mac. This is no G.I. pie. Oh. What is it, Sergeant? Well, sir, my mom, she sent me a thingamajig full of homemade mincemeat. <laughs> yeah. Wraps it up so as it looked like a section of stovepipe. Mm -hmm. That's so it won't burn out. Yeah. And by Jiminy... It got you. Oh, yeah. oh, no. <laughs> 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 that's great. Every step of the way from Massillon, Ohio. Oh, Sergeant Platner. Oh, yes, sir. If you're kidding us, I'll personally turn you over to the toughest MP out there. Oh, oh, no, 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 I ain't kidding. But on the other hand, yeah. if you're not... I'll see that you get a bronze star with three oak leaf clusters. If I have to whittle it out of the back end of the Colonel's Jeep. <laughs> right? I can see that. Well, you can get out your pocket knife now, Lieutenant. Because it's sitting on top of the stove here right now. Hey, look at that. Me and that one was handed last. It used to be a baker, remember? Yeah. yeah. Well, we made it this morning. Morning. Oh, 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 hey, Morgan, what are you looking at? <laughs> There's somebody at the door. Go see who it is, will you? Yes, sir. There's somebody over another bottle. Come on. Let's yeah, get I got it here. here. I got it. Pour me a little of that. Are you kidding? Uh, what a dinner, huh? Oh, Sergeant. Really? You've done yourself proud of this dinner. <laughs> well, why don't you eat some of it then, sir? Well, I'm doing all right. You only have two drumsticks. That's right, Lieutenant. Oh, and give him some, somebody. Oh, all right. Put some more Come right on. Come right on. I thought I saw somebody there, but there wasn't. Uh, I want some more gravy. Well, wait a second. I'll take it I, I, I started to tell you about the Christmas I got married in Peoria. Oh, yeah. Hey, we have. Hey, there is somebody at the door. Huh? Don't look like a GI. I'll tell you, as you fellas sit still. Okay. You! You there! What's Martin see here? Come here! What's Walton see? Why, I see. Well, I'm sorry, sir. Oh, speak English, huh? Yes, sir. What do you want? Nothing, sir. I was just looking around at the destruction. It's terrible. Yeah. You're home here? No, sir. Well, uh, have you got relatives here? No. No, I have no relatives here. Friends? You are not friends, I'm afraid, sir. Well, uh, are you hungry? I don't think so. Well, look, then, you you better not hang around. The MPs are tough babies. You got an identity card? No. What are you, a DP? DP? Yeah, displaced person. Yes. Yes, I suppose you might say I am a displaced person. Oh. Well, look, uh, wait just a minute, will you? Hey, you men! Men! You got any objections if I bring this fellow in for a slice of turkey and a drink of wine? No, come on in, fellas. Okay. You see, even though I am an officer, I'm the guest of these boys. Well, you know, I have to ask them. You are young for an officer. Yeah, but wars don't seem to care how old you are. Come on in. Thank you. I am a little tired. Cold, too, huh? Yes, it is very cold. Well, I don't think I'll go fine. I don't know what you're doing. No, of course not, but sit down, man. Sit right down there. Hey, pour him some wine, Schultz. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Mister. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, if possible, Mr. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, sir. Thank you. Thank you. He's got a fight. Yeah. It is good to sit down with friendly people. Well, you're among friends for a while, Mister, so... Have fun while you can. Yeah, right. Sorry, how about some turkey for our friend? Yes, sir. Uh, what'll it be? Light or dark, sir? I'll give him some of uh, Just a little, if you please. Hey, give him some turnips. All right, shut up, please. Uh, you, you must not be so generous. It's all right. There's plenty for everybody. Sure. Uh, 
Well, who else wants some more? Not me. Uh, a little uh, more for me, Sergeant. Never thought I could do it. Don't let them all mine, will you? Our friend here is cold. Uh, I'm Mr. Cold now, thank you. Well, let's drink up. Pass the potatoes over here, will you, Morgan? Uh, yes, sir. Give me that. Here you are, mister. <laughs> hey, uh, is your home near here, mister? No. My home was a long way from here. Oh, you, uh, you ain't a kraut then, huh? Kraut? Uh, Germany means. No. I am not a German. Well, your, uh, your face looks awful familiar. Haven't I seen you around here sometime? Oh, I don't know. Have you been around here? Occasionally. Yes. Will you shut up, Lester, and leave the man eat? Excuse me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm awful full. It's the best Christmas I had since I left home. A long time ago. Yeah, me too. Me yeah, too. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, man. It could be that the <laughs> presence of a guest contributes to your feeling of well-being. Yeah, that's you right. Know? That's right. I think that's right. Yeah, sure. Well, you know what it says in the Bible. Do you? Oh, now you're going to call it. Now, wait a minute, son. Oh, wait, don't rush me. Oh, now. Right. It's, 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 it's more blessed or something to give than to receive. Oh, uh, right. 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 Will you, will you right. have some more, mister? Thank you. Oh, boy. Did I see that guy somewhere before? I think I've seen him, too. Tell no, no. I, I can't oh, swear. How do you know what he wants? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me You men have been together for a long time in this war? Oh, yes, Quite a sir. Long while. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. We're all that's left of the original outfit. Right. We all started out together in the States, and we said that we'd eat dinner in Berlin. Yeah, there was a lot more of us then, partner. Yeah, a lot more. A lot of good guys, Griff. I'll say. Well, here we are in Berlin. And we are having dinner, right? Yes, we sure are. Again, we sure are. It, it almost seems as if you were all spared for something more than merely fighting a war. You see, asking questions. Hey, I, I don't get it, mister. Fighting this war has done something for us, I guess. Uh, I wouldn't do it again for a lot of money. No, no, I don't. What has it done for you, then? Oh... I don't know. I, I guess you get to feel different about people. And after you've been through what we have. <laughs> yes. I can understand that. Yeah, I bet you can. I, I, I bet you've been through a lot, too, huh? Yes. Was you a soldier? Last year. No. Oh, yes. Come on, Well, what's everybody so quiet about? A minute ago, we were all hollering and yelling and carrying on here. Oh, that's Everybody's full. I sure no. Oh, no. It isn't that, Flattner. It just kind of feels like Christmas. That's right, Shows. Like I, I, I remember on Christmas when oh, we used to go to church in Peoria. No, like, like Christmas afternoon. I, I remember... Everybody feels good. Uh, kind of... Kind of like it, everybody. Yeah, that's right. Peace on earth. Peace on earth. And goodwill to men. We ought to... gone to church this morning. Hey, I went to church. You hey, can. Uh, you can. <laughs> yes, sir. I... Uh, well, I get up early and I went out and I ran right into the chaplain. What could I do? Uh-huh. I sort of wish I'd gone. They even sung Christmas carols. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh, come all ye oh, I know faithful, that I know that. joy of my
Hey, uh, mister, that, that's an awful-looking scar you got on your hand, eh? Yes. It was very painful once. Hey, let me see. Hey, it sure is. Them crowds do that to you? No. You know, you speak awful good English. No, I speak several languages. Lester, will you let the man alone? Tell it, I want to know who he is and what he's doing here. I know I've seen him someplace. Yes, I think you have seen me somewhere. Yeah, but where? Oh, where? I know where I've seen him before. Do you? In the hospital. I had the broken leg. It was Christmas. I prayed. I know where I saw you. Yes. I remember. In the snow. Back of Dekert. And I was kneeling beside my brother. The night he was killed. I saw you on the transport when we were on the way over here. It was in the mission. Carmel. Yes. I saw you there. Once when I was walking God at the tomb of the unknown soldier at Arlington. At night... I was there. Were you in church this morning? I saw you there. Well, then, well, who are you? They don't know. Wait a minute. Now, 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 don't go yet. Wait and have another drink of wine. Yes, sir. Uh, I will drink a cup of wine with you, and then I must go. Well, let me open a new bottle here. Yes, yes, wait a minute, sir. Drink up. Thank you. Now, good, goodbye, my friend. Oh, hey, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, no, no, stay with us. Yes, Please stay with stay. us. No. No, I must go. But listen, why? Why do you have to go? Lester. What? Lester. The whole world's waiting for him. After all, it's his birthday, you know. Please, is played by Albert Berman. Now, for a word about next week, my good friend and our writer director, Willis Cooper. Thank you for listening to Quiet, Please. Next week, I have a story for you which I call The Time of the Big Snow. Will you listen? Until next week at the same time, I am quietly yours, Ernest Chappell.
Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details.